Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Beverly. I hope your Sunday has been going well thus far. And to all my subscribers out there, I just want to thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing, subscribing to my channel. Please share. Leave me a comment. I will really appreciate that. So God bless you all. And today, um, I just want to share a scripture with us all. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a deaconess, I'm not a minister, I'm not an elder. I, um, I have no special um, post in a church. You know, this is just me, Beverly. Um, the Lord has, has given me this portal or the okay to have this channel. And, you know, my, my own, when I asked the Lord... Um, you know, because I was going through so much and I felt like I was overwhelmed. I felt like, you know, my mind is going to so much different places that, you know, I, I, I was so in godly fear, not fear, like, you know, the fear that gives torment. But I was in godly fear that, you know, some crazy mess going to happen because it, it, it sometimes it gets so overwhelming. You know, it's, it's like I can't even breathe. So, you know, I asked the Lord according to Psalm. 71 and verse 18 lord please give me this this chance to tell someone about you this generation and them that is to come about you and it's like since then i have this peace this peace that only god could give you know not that i don't go through still those moments but I can handle it. I can I can go in peace knowing that God is with me. You get what I'm saying? So today I want to share with you um, from Colossians, Colossians 2 and verse 8. And I'm going to read it from the King James Version. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceits after the tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not of christ and i also i'm going to read it from the new king james version sometime i understand the new king james version because they change up some words for you to understand and it said beware lest any man cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men according to the basic principles of the world and not according to christ so um my take on this scripture is that so many things are happening now and i'm going to say it again jesus is coming soon sooner than we think something is going to happen when do we did we ever experience this fiery summer i mean it is so hot it is unbelievable here in florida and you know florida has always been hot but this is like another 10 degrees hotter so i just start saying because it come to my mind and i see the signs you know from from a little girl i've been here and jesus is coming soon but jesus is not coming soon jesus is right at the door and one thing I want to say, you know, um, a lot of people may not want to believe what I'm saying, but it's in the scriptures. And if it's in the scriptures, it's going to happen. Jesus is only coming from a, for a prepared people. There will be no thief on the cross moment anymore. That's been gone since Jesus was crucified. So who isn't ready when Jesus comes? Like the, the foolish virgins will be left behind. You know, I know a lot of people might not, you know, be taken with what I have to say. But I'm saying it from the scripture and I'm saying it's saying the right things. I'm not saying it's not no fables. The Bible is no fables. You know, so I'm, I'm praying for us. We go through enough on this earth. I remember when I was working with the family I was with for 15 years. And, you know, when I, I used to read my Bible or even sit, listen to the churches and hear the pastors who said judgment is coming. And I would be like, you know, 
me, me, me have to make sure so me live right because me now go hell with these people because they they had their they had their heaven right here on earth they were able to do anything they want to do they every time they said they already lived their life you know i i, I even know i still haven't even lived the life i would want to live you know but i would rather have jesus than anything this world affords because at the end of the day this year life gonna end but the life the life after this when the earth is purified the new heaven and the new earth there will be no more no more no more of this heartache no more of this bad stuff no more killing no more pain no more you can't have money to buy what you want no more lack no sickness no it will be forever and ever so this afternoon my friends as i I come to share this scripture with us. We have to be careful of who we listen to, the noise and the voices, and who try to tell us that it is okay to live a certain way and still go to heaven. It is not okay. There is no twerking and rubbing up and swirling your body and uh, going to club, Saturday church, uh, Friday night church, Saturday, Saturday night church. So, no, the devil is a lie and the father of lies. It ain't going to be like that. It ain't going to be like that. And not to say these people is going to get saved. But they have to now repent. Repent. Repent of their sins and their ways right now. And the people that they are telling the lying stories as pastors. They have to repent of that. And Jesus said it's going to be weeping and wailing. Many people is going to meet their doom because they refuse the true message. They refuse to do the right thing. They refuse to stand in the word of God because God do not compromise. And only those who are ready, I will not stop saying that. Only those who are ready. Every day we have to make sure we are ready because we don't know which, when we will die. We don't know when, when our role is going to call. So we have to make sure that we are ready, make our calling and election sure that when Jesus comes, we will be amongst the number. We will not be left behind. He will not say to us, depart ye workers of iniquity, I did not know you. Because a lot of people who say they're Christian are going to hell. Because a lot of church people are iniquity workers, voodoo workers, obia workers. Even they, their hearts sometimes against their neighbors is dirty and sick and wicked. They ain't going to know heaven. Because the Bible said there shall no sin enter into heaven. None. So it won't be according to the amount of years people in church. It won't be to those who know the Bible more than everybody else. It won't be to those who every day go and sit up in the front of the church. It won't be the people and the, the choir. It won't, it won't be nobody but the people who have lived the right life that is holy, clean, and acceptable unto the Lord God Almighty. Yeah? So anyway, my friends... I'm learning these days to watch the clock <laughs> because I don't want to, you know, let anybody be bored listening to me going over the same thing over and over and over again. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you know, really give me to touch my conscience about that. Make it quick, make it swift, and make it real. So I just want to thank God for all of you that stopped to watch my video. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we all will stay under the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. Our children, our grandchildren, our families, our friends, our loved ones, our enemies. I pray that we all will make it in just because we stop and make the right choice to make sure we are saved. To make sure we are ready. Not to just listen to what the pastor said. Not to, not to just, just go to churches that makes you feel good. And you can do whatever you want to do and still think you're going to heaven. It ain't going to happen like that. I have to tell the truth. I'm sorry. But I have to just be right up, straight up and tell the truth. 
God ain't going to work with the dibby dibby sin. It have to be God's way or no way. So, all right, my friends. I love you guys. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your finances. God bless your marriage. God bless your household. God bless you all. God bless you going in, coming out. God bless you in the city. God bless you in the street. God bless you at work. God bless you anywhere you are. Blessings to you and your loved ones. In Jesus' mighty name. I just want to say a quick prayer before I end. Oh, Father, and our God in heaven above, Lord, I thank you for your love that will not let us go. I thank you, Lord, for your peace that surpasseth all understanding. I thank you for your words, Father God, that you said will not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish that which you send it to and prosper in the things of which you are pleased. So, mighty God, each time that I open my mouth, Father God, I just pray, God, that I, I am a true conduit for you. Lord God, just telling my friends and families and loved ones and anyone who will stop to watch my, my videos, God, that Jesus is coming soon and he's coming only for a prepared set of people. So, Father, save souls all across this world for your kingdom, filled with your Holy Spirit, and bless us, bless us, Lord, with the promised blessings you promised through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that the world will be blessed because of their obedience, Lord, to your word and to you, God. In Jesus' name, Father, I honor you, magnify you, glorify you, praise you, and I give you thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, my friends, God bless us all until we meet again. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.